Come on, chieftain. Another one. Bruce watched the gathered children across the smoldering remnants of a bonfire. Ivor, the boy who asked for a new story, caught Bruce's eyes and held his gaze. The night is old, and tomorrow's work doesn't care if we are rested or not. But I will tell you one more story, little ones. The children erupted into cries of happiness, but they quickly calmed down as Bruce raised his hands and started a new tale. Some summers ago, I ventured into the forest. The moon of fool was almost upon us and the ancestors demanded a proper sacrifice. With no prey in sight, I had to go deeper and deeper among the moss-covered trees. But then, there was a booming sound far above me and I could see a techno floater through the branches. When my eyes returned upon the path ahead of me, I was already surrounded. Not one, not two, but three techno soldiers stood around me. They laughed as they powered their swords. After all, they had caught a stray clansman armed with nothing but steel. This was their undoing. While they still laughed, I charged the first one and my blade met his belly. The second one was already upon me, but a clan warrior is fast as lightning. His blade whizzed past my head as I ducked, and then I sliced his arms clean off. But the third soldier, he saw I was not a frightened clansman, but a warrior. So he waited, baiting me to attack him. We circled each other for moments that lasted forever, waiting for the other one to make a mistake. But then, I kicked the ground, rising a cloud of dirt that went through his mask and blinded him. Just for a second. A second was all that I needed. With one strike, I sliced his head clean off. I can swear to the ancestors that he was still coughing as his head tumbled around. The end of the story was met with giggles and longing eyes as the bonfire waned and slowly died out. Only Ivor seemed concerned and lost in thought. After a moment, he spoke. But the chieftain, where is the armor in tricking the tech now? Bruce directed a long, hard stare at Ivor as he answered. There is no honor in dying, Ivor. A warrior must use every means available to him to be the victor. Always remember that. And now, time to sleep.